Example 36. If you can choose three different shirts to go with a pair of pants and four different pairs of shoes, how many unique outfits can you create? All right, when you see this problem, it seems simple, right? But one thing I want to emphasize is that when this problem is mixed up with a bunch of other problems, you're going to have to be able to read that statement there in the problem and figure out what technique is best used to solve the problem. So you want to look for key words that jump out that would have to be present in any problem like it and that would point to maybe what method to use to solve it. And those key words here, or a key phrase here, is how many. That phrase, how many, indicates you're dealing with a counting question. So you're needing a counting rule to solve it. And in this particular scenario, the fundamental counting rule is going to be our first choice. So whenever you see this phrase, how many, you want to think about the fundamental counting rule as one of your options to solve it. The fundamental counting rule is pretty simple. It says when you have a procedure or something to accomplish and it has a set of steps to do that, um, you basically multiply the number of ways you can complete each step together to produce the number of total ways the thing can be um, completed or the task can be completed. So if you have a task that requires two steps and then you have you know m ways the first thing can be done and k ways the next thing can be done, you're saying that the total number of ways the thing can be finished is m times k, right? So that's the logic of the fundamental counting rule. Let's write it out for this particular example so it makes concrete sense. Here in this process to get dressed in the morning apparently the person has to choose between three different shirts and then a pair of pants and four different pairs of shoes. Now, it says a pair of pants, meaning I guess there's a pair of pants that matches any of three shirts or any of four different pairs of shoes. So for whatever reason, you know, any one of these shirts can go with any one of these shoes and the pair of pants that you've picked out. So the pants really isn't a choice because it implies there's just one pair of pants, so we don't have to worry about that. So basically the task of getting dressed here, according to this problem, is just simply a matter of picking the shirt, right? and then picking the shoes. So it's a two-step process. In order to get dressed, this person will have to pick the shirt and then pick the shoes. The fundamental counting rule says that we should multiply the number of options you have for picking the shirt along with the number of options you have for picking the shoes. If you multiply those two things together, you will get the total number of possible outfits that can be created. So let's talk about the shirts. How many number of shirts are there? Well, in the problem it says there are three different shirts. So you would put a three here, and the shoes, it says there are four different pairs of shoes. And this produces 12 unique outfits, right? 12 unique outfits. And that's it. That's all you have to do to solve the problem. So again, I knew it was a fundamental counting rule problem, mainly because it said the phrase, how many? So it's asking me, how many ways can I accomplish a task? And my task that I have to accomplish has multiple steps. And so all I do is I multiply the number of ways to complete the first step times the number of ways there are to complete the second step. The first step is to pick a shirt, the second step is to pick the shoes, I have three options for the shirt, four options for the shoes, it gives me 12 different unique pairings that I can come up with, and that will give me 12 unique outfits that I can create from this setup. And that's it.